For years, the name Rode was synonymous with on-camera microphones. You had the Video Micro, the Video Mic Pro, the Video Mic Pro Plus, and it was just what you always saw on top of people's cameras, vlogging or on YouTube and things like that. It was just kind of accepted that that was the mic that you go to if you want to use it in that way. Over the past few years, though, we've seen some really great competition from different brands for this style of microphone, things that are maybe cheaper, things that have a little bit of a different uh, build quality or build style to them. And it's great to see competition because what it does is produces something like this, the Rode VideoMic NTG, which just has absolutely everything packed into it. You can see that Rode really, really responded to the competition here. And this is the reason why competition is great. So today, we're gonna take a look at this microphone in a bit more depth. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm Scott and welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. If you've never been here before, please do consider subscribing. We do all kinds of unboxings, reviews, tests, tutorials, anything photo and video related. So if you like the content today, please do subscribe and hit the little bell icon when you do that to make sure that you get notifications when new content is uploaded. So today, like I said, we're just gonna take a quick look at the microphone itself and talk about the pros and cons of the Rode VideoMic NTG and the DAD D3 Pro and how they compare to each other. We'll see what's built into the Rode VideoMic NTG. And if you wanna hear sound samples and things like that, I've recorded some other videos that will give you samples in some different environments in some different situations. To hear how it sounds right up next to my boom microphone, you can watch my new studio tour. And right at the end of that, I have some comparison side by side holding the microphone in this same type of position. If I put this in about the same position as my boom mic is right now, if you wanna hear how it sounds as a USB microphone plugged into my computer, you can hear how that sounds in my video about how to update the firmware on this microphone. And by the way, I'm using it right now as a USB microphone to record this voiceover. And if you want to hear some side-by-side -side with the DD D3 Pro outdoors, you can see that in my sound comparison video. And the audio is coming in just below uh, the first notch on the input settings on the EOS R. And then to achieve the same level on the DD D3 Pro, I have it set between 8 and 9. If you want to check those out, I will have links down in the video description as well as a playlist on screen somewhere right now. So now I'm just going to go through a really rapid fire bullet point style pros and cons for each of these microphones. The DD D3 Pro and the Basic D3 are going to be cheaper options if you're looking to save as much money as you can and still get a really nice build quality with a really good sound. For that lower price, the D3 also comes with a carry case, which the Rode VideoMic does not. While both the D3 Pro and the Rode VideoMic have smart cables that will kind of communicate with whatever device they're connected to and just automatically work with cameras, phones, computers, whatever you plug it into, I personally like the D3 Pro's cable. It's a coiled cable more than the straight flat style cable that comes with the Rode VideoMic. Now, other people have said that they love the VideoMic cable, so that's maybe a personal choice, but for me, I'd rather have the coiled style. The DD D3 Pro is also noticeably lighter in your hand. I'll put the specs up on the screen now for how much they actually each weigh, but it is noticeably lighter. The DD D3 Pro also has a slightly longer battery life with that built-in battery at about 50 hours, whereas the Rode has about 30 hours. Now for the extra money you're paying for the Rode, you are getting a really, really nice quality microphone. Both of these are built really, really nice, but things like the Rycote shock mount, although both of these have official Rycote shock mounts, the one on the Rode microphone just feels a little bit more hefty. Now you might want something light and simple. Like I said, the DD mic is lighter, but the Rode build quality does feel very robust. The Rode VideoMic also has a larger range in terms of the gain that you can adjust on here. It can go a bit higher. The numbers on the actual microphone seem to be almost about the same in terms of the output that they're putting out, but the Rode VideoMic can go up to 15, whereas the DD can only go up to 10. Down at their lowest settings, they're about the same, but the Rode VideoMic also has that minus 20 decibel setting on top of that, which can really, really pull back the audio really, really low for when you're in loud situations. Although both of these mics do have two stage high pass filters for when you're dealing with cutting out those low rumbles from wind noise or from air conditioning, only the Video Mic Pro goes a step further and has a high frequency boost for if you're using some kind of furry wind cover or if you're using it in a blimp and that's cutting out those high frequencies. You can kind of compensate for that with the built in high frequency boost on the Rode Video Mic. In addition to the straight minus 20 decibel setting on the Rode VideoMic NTG, you also have the option for a safety track where it will split that left and right channel into different levels and you'll have your standard level and one that's recorded at minus 20 decibels. So that way, if your audio suddenly clips unexpectedly, you can have that lower track to pull from and recover that audio instead of having only one track that is blown out with nothing you can do with it. Checking my audio, checking if it's clipping, Checking my audio, checking if it's clipping. 
On the video mic, you also have a little light on the microphone itself that will blink if you are clipping your audio. So if you have somebody standing behind the camera that can see that, they can give you a hint that, hey, hey, you need to quiet down or just do that one more time so I can adjust the audio levels because that was clipping. For people who are using this as an on-camera mic though, a lot of them are gonna be recording by themselves and that's gonna be totally invisible if you're standing in front of the camera. So I don't find that to be the most useful extra feature, but it is built in there. Well, both of these do have that smart cable that can detect what it's connected to so that way you don't have any compatibility issues and those smart cables will also be able to sense when the power of the camera or something is turned on and turn the microphone's power on automatically. I found that the video mic does work a little bit better because it will always just power off and power on with no problem whatsoever whereas the DD has a standby mode. I can have it go into standby mode when I turn the camera's power off and eventually it will turn all the way off to save battery but when it's all the way off it doesn't always turn on automatically. So if it's in standby mode and I turn the camera back on, it's no problem. But if the microphone completely shuts off and I plug it in, turn the camera on, I found that oftentimes the microphone doesn't turn on and I have to do that manually. That may depend on what camera you're connecting it to or what device you're connecting it to. So it's not a huge problem, but just be aware that the automatic power on, power off does work a little bit differently between the Deity and the Rode video mic. You can also use the video mic NTG as a USB microphone, and then that frees up the 3.5 millimeter jack on the microphone to actually plug headphones in directly to monitor your audio. Whereas with the D3 Pro, you can of course use it with a computer with that 3.5 millimeter cable with no problem. But then if you want to monitor your audio, you have to plug into your computer computer directly or whatever it is that you're recording with. So they can both work, but they work in a little bit of a different way. In terms of the audio quality, they are different, of course, and in how they deal with off-axis audio or uh, off-axis rejection is a bit different, but I'm not going to say one is necessarily better than the other. I think they're just different, and they're going to be different for different voices, different for different environments, and different for different uses. So in terms of audio quality, you can listen to those other videos that I talked about, and you can see which one you think appeals the most to you personally. So to wrap it all up, these are definitely two of the best video mics on the market. There's no doubt about that. And I think that the reason that you would choose one over the other is whether you want everything. You want everything but the kitchen sink, which is all thrown into the Rode video mic NTG. Or if a lot of that is just not necessary for you and that little bit of extra money or a lot of bit of extra money over the basic D3 from Deity is going to be worth it or not. So. The D3 and the D3 Pro and the Rode VideoMic NTG all have great sound, they all have great build quality, and they're just great microphones overall. But I think that it's really going to appeal to just different levels of people. How many features you want, how much you need, and how much you're actually going to use. So that's kind of a, a value type thing there, and that's going to depend a lot on the user to user basis. So I'm not going to say that one is definitely better than the other, but hopefully from the information here today and the other sound samples that I provided in those other videos, you can kind of have some idea of which one is going to be the best match for you. But if you do have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. For now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it if you'd like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.